In the metals quadrant today, a pretty good size rally for the April gold futures contract up over two and a half percent in toward the close and above 1900. The high today, 1918.30, was up 2.75 percent. The low, 1875.70, that was actually up 48 basis points or almost a half of 1 percent from yesterday's settlement of 1867.29. Today is the largest single session percentage move since December 1st. Of course, that's a percentage move higher, not lower. Since December 1st of last year, gold is now up three consecutive sessions for a total move higher of about 5.4%. This looks to be a classic flight to safety. The move in gold is mirroring an up move in the yen, the Swiss franc, and treasury prices. When we look at those four things going up together, and I'll include silver in that, that's generally when you're looking at some sort of risk off measure and a flight to safety to protect capital. The yen is up about 1.3%, Swiss franc about one and a quarter percent, and the 10 year treasury on a price basis is up about 1.4%, but also bond yields. When you look at yields, again, when yields are going higher, it's generally pressure on gold. When yields are going lower, it's a tailwind to gold and treasuries have their largest single session drop in yields since the 1980s. Dramatic in the two year, down 51 basis points, sitting at just above 4% now, 4.10%. The five year down 29 basis points, 3.67%. The 10 year at three and a half percent. Remember, it just popped above 4% very recently. And the 30 year down eight basis points at 3.63%. Interesting part as well is the twos tens inversion, which on March 8th was negative 107 is negative 159. So a big steepening of the yield curve has gone along with this. All of this has been a tailwind for gold the last three sessions, including today.